Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today's video is a continuation of our Steel to Reel Elite subscription box opening. If you haven't seen that video, it's the one right before this one. I would suggest you go check check it out. These were two items from my medic that we received in that box. And I decided to do a separate video, so that video didn't run too long. But we're going to get into these right now. So hopefully you went back and you checked out the video before this one, before you came to this one, because one important thing that I did say when I was talking about the pricing of Steel to Real subscription service, the Elite box is quarterly. I didn't say that. All the other ones are monthly. That one's quarterly. Hopefully I didn't need to say a $400 box. You're not going to get that every single month. But these two things were in there, so I decided to look them up. And something interesting about the value of that box. This bag right here, is $249. Yep. $249. The closest uh, first aid kit that I could find on their site, which you'll see the picture, looks just like this one. And it was a hundred bucks. So just for these two items you're looking at a $350 retail value for a box that costs 400 bucks. So I will say the value you know, is probably there. So let's go ahead and break down the first aid kit first. And one of the things about it, it is kind of a rubber material and it does have a cool, it has a, two flaps that go across the zipper, which would make this, you know, semi-permeable to moisture and water but certainly you know you're not going to have a bigger problem with moisture getting in as if it was an exposed zipper and one thing i do like about this is the organization that is awesome everything has its you know every you know kit has its own little pockets but this has it all laid out really nice you do have some some velcro right here in the middle if you wanted to add something to the kit yourself you could do that so the first thing here is a mini tool and this contains a whistle a pin light and a pair of tweezers and the package has tear notches and ziplock and i really don't want to open all this stuff if you guys really want me to uh, drop a comment down in the comment section if you really want me to open this stuff, but I really want to keep the kit intact because I do want to put this in one of my kits. So I don't, I don't really want to go opening everything. Now, if it was, if this was a sponsored video, Steel to Real, if you want to sponsor any of these videos, or my medic for that, you can. Uh, if they sponsored it, I'd open it up and show everything. So in this compartment here that has the little fire symbol, we have these two things. This is a mini burn, a mini burn. I guess it's a cream burn shield mini assortment of burn relief supplies for treating burns that's great but what is it it's it's three burn relief gels okay so we got one pack of those and is this going to be the same thing yes okay so two packs three each of some apparently some an eighth of an ounce 3.5 milliliters of burn gel okay cool we'll take it so that was in the little the little fire compartment here and let's see how did these go in there i guess i should have been paying attention and not talking okay i'll leave them out be all right okay then we have another little packet here or oh, wait a minute oh no that's even better all the little packets are velcro so you can take them in and out. That's awesome. All right, so the next one has a little water bottle icon on it. So let's just take a wild guess. Is that going to be for water purification? I do believe so. Or maybe not. Maybe it's drink mix. Okay, we have aqua tabs and a drink mix. Yes, a drink mix. Two drink mixes. And 
little aqua tab and it's in a little uh, ziploc bag so let's see this is does it say what flavor it is one stick is uh, obviously one stick per container uh, it's just got sugars some vitamins and it's, it's actually from my medic okay cool yeah does it say what flavor it is it says uh, hydrating power of a whole coconut <laughs> all right I don't know I'm not gonna assume that that's the flavor that it's some coconut flavor but yeah anyway you get that with some aqua tabs two aqua tabs so that's your little water compartment okay so that's cool then we got one down here that has the little like wind looking icon on there and what is this okay this is an airway bag a yeah, CPR shield okay so this one has a little CPR shield for your air for your airway and then we got some and then we got two two big ones that are really big compartments and this one has a little dude hiking I guess this is for gonna be for blood and then maybe for uh, closures I guess you know, it's like a safety pin so let's see what we got in this one we got a lot of stuff in this one okay so we got some medication some for allergies this is what is this okay we got some tablets we got some uh, hydro, uh, hydrocortisone cream we got some ibuprofen we got some antihistamines we got some more uh, antihistamines we got some eye drops and all kinds of stuff yeah maybe that'll focus you can read that so yeah and again tear notches and ziploc then we got a bag of just regular looks like regular band-aids and a bigger bandage then we got blister three blister guards these are really good if you are hiking and you start getting a blister you can these are really really very sticky so it, it holds your skin in place so you don't get that friction and then it you know it's, it's thick so yeah then we have a gauze pad for for bleeding that's what it says on here you got two two by two one four by four two non-adherent gauze pads two by two and one two inch conforming gauze roll and all this stuff seems to, you know it's all from my medic is what it looks like it's all and again tear notches and ziploc love it and then in this here we got a space blanket which is just like a mylar type aluminum coated job it just has an emergency survival blanket it is 82 inches by 52 inches and then we got our last little package here that has two ibuprofen one apap fever reducer one aspirin so I got some diarrhea, some Dramamine for motion sickness. We got some allergy relief, some anti-diarrheal, and uh, some cold and fever reducer. So basically, we just have a little pouch that has all of the little kind of like single serve, uh, you know, the, the the pill that you can buy in like the first aid kits that'll have like one or two aspirin, and it'll be packaged in a little package. It's just a bunch of those in here. So again, that's a lot of stuff. And then we got one that's got a, looks like something's going to have a splint, some creams, and then one that just says first aid. So we got some shears, some clothing shears. And then we got some anti-chafe cream. We got two of those. Two things of, of this anti-chafe cream, which is awesome. And a mini sprain and fracture little kit. And this has a finger splint and a 1 inch by 15 foot self-adherent bandage roll. 
again, package, you know, tear notches and, and, and uh, a Ziploc. I really dig on that, man. That, that's, that's just, that's really such a good idea. And then we have a mini topical kit that has two antiseptic wipes, hand sanitizer, triple antibiotic uh, ointment, a lip balm, a sunscreen, some, another thing of uh, uh, hydrocortisone, with, you know, for anti-itch, oral pain relief, and some chafing cream. So, man, a lot of, a lot of stuff squeezed into, into this little pack. Let's see, we did that, we did that. We got some nitrile gloves. Little little kit of nitrile gloves. I think it's just one pair, right? One pair? One pair. I'm assuming it's one pair. And then we got zips. Oh, some little uh some little sutures. Alright. Two two of the zips devices and one zips IFU. I'm not familiar with this, so I don't know what that means, but these are just closures. And, and the graphic there kind of tells you what it is. It's a two pack. And that's what was in that. So, yeah, man, this this first aid kit, just the first aid kit, a lot of stuff. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna be on the struggle bus putting all this stuff back in there because, yeah, I'm not good at repacking things. I'm good at messing them up, but I'm not so good at putting them back together. But I will give it my best shot. Okay, let's check out this dry bag. And again, dry bag, what'd I say, 250 bucks? For this dry bag, it's a real heavy, heavy, like a vinyl rubbery material, and it has pockets. It has a pocket right here with some really pretty strong elastic, and but the material right here is like a t-shirt, like one of the the wicking t-shirts. That's what this material feels like right here, and there's one on each side. There's one on each side. And we do have uh, some backpack straps. It does have a carry handle here. And, of course, when the dry bag is, is folded up, you know, you can't carry it from that. And we have some plastic, really thick, either probably nylon, something like that. Some D-rings here. We have some of the mesh, the breathable mesh here. You know, not thick padding. But this thing, it's not really that heavy. I wish I had a scale so I could weigh it. We do have a chest strap, and we have two rows of padding right there. One row here and one row here, just to you know give you some cushion so that the contents you know aren't stabbing you in the back. And then finally, I'm assuming this would be a vent or a drain right here for the bag, this little port. And then you have like a kind of like a one molly type piece here that you could run a, you know you could run a velcro strap through and hook something to it and then we have a zipper pouch here that goes all the way to here it goes all the way to the other side of here so you got a another compartment right there on the front okay so what everybody wants to see let's get in let's actually get in and start pulling everything out of this thing okay so first thing we have at the top of the bag is going to be a a beanie hat that is completely sealed so I don't really want to open it but it's my medic branded it's uh, like a grayish color looks 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 really nice and thick so yeah cool so we got a beanie hat and then we have a bag for sun protection shelter and clothes so please tell me it has a breakdown because I really don't want to open all this stuff. Okay, so it has, for clothes, it has a poncho. It has 12-hour hand warmers, a wool blend performance socks with Cool Max. Awesome. Fleece-lined reflective beanie, a, fle a fleece-lined water uh, waterproof gloves. And for shelter, it has an emergency bivy, a survival blanket found in first aid section. Okay, so that must be in another bag in here. It has shelter building instructions, and, but it has a stay, a stay Alive guide. That's cool. And for sun protection, it has polarized sunglasses, sunscreen, fleece line reflective beanie. Okay, found in closed section. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so they, okay. And you can see there, I don't know if, if you can make out some of the contents or not. 
But I'm, I'm telling you, I really don't want to open this. If this was a sponsored video and this kit was sent to me, I would open everything. But I really want to keep everything together. But I tell you what, if I get enough views on this video and enough comments and you guys really want to see me open this stuff and lay it all out and show you, I will do it. But other than that, I really want to keep it all together. Okay, this is a food and water bag. What's inside? We have emergency food, 1600 calories, and it looks like it's just the SOS bars. So it's the really dense calorie bars. That's, that's what's in there for food. It says extra, <laughs> extra space for snacks. It has a field dressing game instructions. See first aid, the stay alive guide, page 20. Okay. Then for water, it has a water filter, a water bottle. It has emergency water. Okay, so, oh, it has, it actually branded, it has a life straw. That's awesome. It has water purification tablets, and it has, of course, a section in the guide on filtering water. But it has a life straw, so I can see that right there. So we do have some actual branded things, not just some generic, you know, cheap. And in here, I can feel like the, the, little, the little packets that you would get that have water in them. There's some of those in there as well. So yeah, that, that's really cool. Okay, then we got a bag for first aid and a multi-tool. Okay, so the multi-tool... Let's see, I don't say nothing. Just I guess it's just like a generic, maybe a cheaper version of a... What, like a Leatherman? It has some duct tape. It has 20 feet of paracord. And for first aid, it has a hiker medic first aid kit, emergency pressure bandage, a survival blanket, the stay alive guide. <laughs> it says it has a ginormous hygiene towel and an inflatable dry bag. Okay. Yeah, again, another bag with a lot of stuff in it. And that's it. This, this is it. This is it. This is fire, light source, and navigation. So, this comes with a folding compass, navigation instructions, which are in the first aid guide. Okay, we have a solar headlamp uh, with USB charger, a 30-hour light stick. Okay, and we have some InstaFire, some waterproof matches. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, okay, all right, I'm just going to say it. It is expensive, okay, it's 250 bucks, but this is definitely the coolest, like, car bag, get home bag that I've opened on this channel. All the previous ones, they've had their deficiencies, but this one... This one, because, uh, you know, I, I am seeing name brand stuff. You know, I like the Life Straw. That's impressive. That's impressive when a company does that. Even though the, the, the price can shock you, if you're getting good name brand stuff, that at the end of the day, you're going to go out and you're going to buy anyway. If you're getting that stuff out of the gate and you can get over the hump of the initial price, it's worth it. So, this came in the steel to reel box, elite box. So, as I, you know, as I said again, please, if you haven't watched that video, please go back to the one before this one. Check it out. This came in that box. These two items are awesome. This is an awesome first aid kit, and this is an awesome dry bag. So, double thumbs up on that, man. I love it. I love it. Hey, if you made it this far, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. And like the video, and yeah. If you really want to see me open these contents and get into them, if I get enough comments and this video does good, I will open all this stuff and show you guys, okay? So, yeah, that's it. Till next time, peace.